Okay, so many people have been asking me, how can I blend my picture with my background professionally? Whether it's um church flyer design, birthday flyer design, any design at all, how can I blend my picture with my background professionally? So in today's video, I'll be showing us two secret ways you can use to blend your picture with your background professionally. So make sure you stick with me to the end of this video. Don't skip any part of the video because you'll be learning so much from it. Of course, it's the helpful one here today and I'm super excited to have you in today's video with me. Let's get to our Pixel Lab. Okay, so this is my Pixel Lab. This is the default of my Pixel Lab. So I'm just going to click on my AI icon and delete this new test. So I'm going to bring in the background I want to use. First of all, let me change the background. So I'll click on background, click on color, click on color on the top. Let me just select black and I'm going to mark this with screen. Okay, I'm going to click at this center icon here. Click on import. Let me bring in the background that I want to use for the design, okay? So I'm going to locate it. Okay, I assume I'm designing a uh, church flyer design. Okay, so I'll be, using, I'll be making use of this background. I'm going to bring it in, increase it from here, and position it very well. Okay, let me increase it more. Bring it here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock it to avoid the background moving. So I'll click on this icon below the three dots, and then click on the lock icon and lock it. Then click on that same icon below the three dots and go back. Then the next we're going to do is to bring in the um, picture we want to use for the design. So I'm going to click on import and locate the picture that I want to use. Okay, so because it's like church for light design that I want to make. So I want to make use of um Apostle Jesus Seman picture. Okay, he has been a blessing to my life. If you have not watched or listened to any of his messages, you can go ahead and search for it on Koinona Global YouTube channel, okay? You'll be blessed. Believe me, you'll be blessed. I've blessed my life so much. So this is the picture we're making in his I'm going to bring it in. Okay, I'm going to mark this good sign. So this is the picture here. Yeah? So I will increase it, okay? Now remember when you increase the quality I mean, the size of a picture in Pixel Lab, it tends to reduce the pixels. Yes, it tends to reduce the quality of that picture. So what I'm going to do is to increase it to the size I want it and then copy it. Then delete the one below and then position this one at the center where I want it to be. Now, when you bring this picture like this, you cannot just go ahead and start making use of it like this. You have to blend it. You have to blend the picture with the background so that it will be very fine. Now, there are two ways in which we can achieve this. So pay attention and make sure you follow me. Now, the first way we're going to do that is to click on the center icon, which I am already. Then I'm going to click on shape. Pay attention and follow what I'm going to do now. Click on shape. Now, still on that same shape, don't go out, okay? So I'm going to scroll down. Click on gradient. Please pay attention. Then I'm going to scroll by the right. Then select this first white and black. Not the one that is transparent. The first default white and black. Black, excuse me. You're going to see that in your pixel lab. Yes. So I'm just going to select it like this. Okay, good. Still on that same place. So the next thing I'm going to do now, stay there, is to click on this plus icon here. Pay attention now. Good. So I'm already here. The next thing I'm going to do now is to select this white part. When you click on it and you select it, it will be showing yellow from your end. I think it also should be showing yellow in this video. So I'm going to click here. Then click on this last icon here. Look at it, the last icon down. So I'm going to click here. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag this from here to transparent. Yes, move it to this end. Hope you have seen it. It will be completely transparent, okay? Good. Then I'm going to click OK. Hope you are seeing it. It will be like this. Good. Then I'm going to click OK. Good. Hope you are seeing it. This is what it will give you. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this good sign. I will rotate this, okay, with this rotation icon, okay? Then bring it down here. Drag it to cover the places I want it to cover for me, okay? I'm going to drag it like this. You can try to reduce this down a bit. And then, okay. Let's lock the picture, okay? So I'm going to bring this here, the shadow. So this is the shadow now. Okay, now, if you like, you can make use of black, depending on the color you want to use. But for the purpose of this video, I want to take a color from the background. So I'm going to scroll by the right. Go to color, enable color. Hope you have seen it, it will show red, but I'm not making use of that red. I'm going to click on this plus icon here. 
Then click on picker. Hope you are seeing it. The first icon on top. Then I'm going to select the background. Then from the background, I will select any color that I want at all from the background. So I want to make use of this dark red from the background, okay? I'm going to mark this good sign. Then click OK. Hope you are seeing it. This is the color is giving me, and that's the one I want to use. So the next I'm going to do now is to go ahead and copy this as many times as possible until it achieves the purpose what you want to do it, okay? As you're copying it, you are placing it. Hope you are seeing it. We are achieving what we want. Exactly. Perfect. My God, this is wonderful. Okay? So... With this, as you can see, your picture and your background have now blended so perfectly well. Okay, so this is one of the ways you can blend your picture with your background professionally. Assuming it's maybe a stretch flyer you want to design, you can go ahead and go to your test. Let me say, maybe let's say, like you're doing maybe Grace Conference. Okay, you're just gonna bring in your, your test here. You go to your font. Okay. This actually makes your design look very professional and very, very good, okay? So you go ahead and choose the font you want to use for it, okay? You are seeing it. So this is how to design flyout. Very wonderful one. I hope you are seeing it. You can position the topic here. Go ahead with the um the location, the name of the church, the date, and everything. So this, this is one of the ways to achieve... And blend your picture with your background. Let's go to the second step, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close these um, shadows and return for a picture back to the normal. Okay, so this is what we have before. Now, another way you can blend this picture professionally is by clicking on this center icon here. The next I'm going to do is to I'll go to shape again. Please follow me now. I'll come to reduce and increase this reduce to 100. Okay, then opacity, I'm going to reduce the opacity to zero. Hope you are seeing it. Then I'll go down, go to stroke width, increase it to highest, which is 60. The highest, depending on your phone, just take it to the highest. Okay, then go down, go down, come to blur radius and increase it to highest. Hope you are seeing it. It will now be blur like this. Stay here, don't move out. Drag this like this until there is no space at the center. Okay, now I'm going to mark this good sign. So we're going to have something like this. So you can increase it from here, drag it like this, depending on what you want. Okay, hope you're seeing it. You can as well reduce the opacity of the shadow. As you can see, this one is so, so, so dark. So we can go to edit. Okay, and then come to um stroke and then the opacity. You can reduce it, hope you're seeing it. You can reduce the opacity, you can reduce it, you can increase it to the end, depending on what you want. So I just want my own to be to the highest, which is 100. Then mark this good sign, then drag this like this, okay? Drag it, drag it, okay? Position it here. Hope you are seeing it. Then go to color, enable. Use the same method we used before and pick the color you want to be in the background, okay? So I have choose this. Okay, I'm going to mark this good sign. Then go ahead and copy it. Bring it here. My God. Hope you, hope you are seeing it. And these have blended professionally and very, very wonderful and beautiful. Okay? So these are the two ways you can go ahead and do what? And blend your pictures in your pixel lab. Whether it's for church, for church flyer design, birthday flyer design, any design at all you are great in, and you want to blend your picture with your background, this is the way to do it. Hope you have gained enough value in this video. Please go ahead and subscribe. Share to your friends, like, and comment in the comment section. I will see you in my next video. Bye.